Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Patrick here with us this morning. And Patrick came into our office uh, three visits ago. This is his fourth visit, and uh, his major complaint was acid reflux and hiatal hernia, but he also has been suffering from lower back pain and hip pain on both sides, and knee pain and pain down into his legs. And upon examining his MRIs, he does have moderate severe degenerative joint disease, which is also known as osteoarthritis in both hips. And during our initial com uh, consultation and evaluation, you know, I was talking to Patrick about, he asked me, you know, did I think I could help that? And I told him the, the answer that I would tell all of you is that the treatments that we do are designed to take pressure off the joints and alleviate pain, but we can never promise a cure or a result ahead of time. But I'll let him tell you after we get done how they've done since we've started treating him. Uh, he also has degenerative disc disease in his lumbar spine. And I think that's the number one reason that he's pinching the nerves out of his lower back all the way down into his legs. But let's take a look at you here, Patrick, and show him how we treat this condition. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me. And then neutral. Take a deep breath in, let all your out, keep your eyes closed. Now as you can see from the side posture, his head is still forward. His ear is dropping right here in front of his clavicle. It's supposed to be back here over his shoulders. That's why his shoulders are starting to round forward a little bit. Hands are out in front of him here as opposed to being at the sides. And from the front view, the pelvis has shifted a little bit left. You see that, Patrick? Less room here, more room over here. And your head's still a little forward and cocked off to the right. It's translated left, but tilted to the right. Okay, so, Patrick, I'm gonna go ahead and decompress you here first today. I'm gonna lay on this table on your back. Pelvis right here. Down a little bit, please, sir. A little bit more. There we go. And how many doctors have you seen for your hips and your back since, and your hiatal hernia before me? Three. Three other doctors. Well, we'll be getting some comments on that. What is up with that? Not Patrick. There we go. <laughs> or me. There we go. That was just the cushion rubbing up against it. So he's kicking beforehand. There we go. Now, nice deep breath in. And relax. Mm -hmm. There we go. We did a nice smooth decompression on him. How far down did you feel that, Patrick? All the way. All the way down. That's what we like. That's why we call it ring dinger. person develops degenerative disc disease, degenerative joint disease, all those are synonymous with osteoarthritis. Over the course of their lifetime, just by driving their bodies around in gravity without them being lined up properly. It's kind of like a car. If you got a brand new car, you can let go of the steering wheel out there on the interstate and it'll keep driving straight down the road. However, if you bump into a curb and misline the front end on your car and then go out and do that, it'll deviate to one side and it will also wear and tear the tires and the front end parts quicker than they normally would that tightens up a little bit right there doesn't it Patrick? Yes. So degenerative joint disease degenerative disc disease synonymous with osteoarthritis is a Wear and tear process commonly seen in people as they get older, but only commonly seen in people that get older that have not had chiropractic care all their lives. People like myself that have had chiropractic care all of our lives do not show those degenerative disc diseases. 
experiencing joint disease or osteoarthritis because our joints have been moving and been lined up for most of our lives so we're driving our bodies lined up better Now, degenerative disc disease, degenerative joint disease, there's no real cure for it or fix for it. However, we can slow down and stop that damaging degenerative change that occurs in the joints, in the disc, by realigning the joints properly and reducing the amount of abnormal wear and tear during our activities of daily living when we're walking around and doing our normal everyday activities. There we go. Good. Yep. And just breathe normal. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still got one more right here. There. Okay. Now your legs are even. This should feel a little easier, Patrick. Can yeah, you tell? A little bit. Okay. So we're going to adjust his cervical spine now and put that curve back forward in his cervical spine. Good. Okay. Let's have you turn on your back, Dale. bringing his head up and posteriorly to help put the head and neck over the thoracic spine where it's supposed to be. Slide down this way just a little bit please sir. And put your arms out to the sides. See how stiff his hip is there. Just let this go. There we go. Did you feel that all the way up in there? Yes, sir. Good. So he has a hard time abducting because of his hip degeneration. He does have big spurs on the sides of his hips. Let's sit you up, please, this way towards Joseph, please, sir. This one's a little different story. A little restriction right there. That's better. There, okay. Uh, if you're coming in here from out of the country or out of state or even if you're here in Houston, it's always best to bring x-rays, MRIs, CT scans, any diagnostic studies you have including blood work to your first visit. That gives me more information to work with so I can be much more specific on what I do to each and every patient for their individual need. Okay, let's have you stand up in front of the mirror for me here, Patrick. If you don't have them, I will order them sometimes. Place you forward and backwards again. That's a little better already. Take a look. See, you're still a little left and cocked to the right, so let's pull these up and back. Flare these here. I'm going to bring this here. Now, because you're left, we're going to go right, but your head's tilted to the right, so we're going to tilt it left. Look up at the ceiling. Tap right there. There. Flex your head forward and backwards again. Yep, look at that, that's better. You know what, lay on your back here. I forgot to pull your tummy down. Okay. Let's have you take a real deep breath in. Let all of your out. Exhale, keep exhaling. There it is, right there. Good, okay. Another deep breath. 
and exhale. <clears throat> One more time. It's a lot deeper in person than it looks on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Okay, good. Now, let's stand up over here again. So Patrick, what would you tell our YouTube subscribers about your experience here and how uh, your hiatal hernia done has done your hips and your back? It's, it's positive. It's all positive. Uh, much more freer. Uh, hiatal hernia is is just about gone. Okay. Slight. You're not feeling as much acid up in no, there. No, I haven't. I haven't had that uh, jump out Full of bed in the middle of the night. Oh, good. Since I've started, with you're you. able to sleep better. Sleep better. Good. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you for sharing your treatment with everybody today. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, Patrick, and Joseph and Renee coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief, and we'll see y'all soon.